Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Oh, y'all could do better than that. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to everyone, and welcome to worship here at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church, and it is a blessing to have everyone gathered with us virtually for our Christmas Eve worship service uh, today. Just a few, a few brief announcements in reference to our Christmas Eve and Christmas Day schedules. If you're watching this right now, you are more than likely uh, viewing our pre-recorded service at 6 a.m. on Christmas Eve morning. So uh, I hope you enjoy our worship time together and you can view this service later on in the day if you care to. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know that 11 o'clock uh, this morning, we are going to be having a family service outdoors. Uh, so we invite you uh, to come to participate in that worship service. And immediately following that, we will have drive-through communion from 12 o'clock noon to 12.30. And then at 4 o'clock, we are going to be offering a live stream service for uh, folks to take a part in viewing that, and then immediately following that from 5 o'clock to 5.30, we are again having drive through communion. On Christmas Day, we will be having at 9 o'clock a live stream uh, uh, a service uh, for you, for you to, uh, to, to view, followed by drive through communion from uh, uh, 10 o'clock to 10.30. And then on Sunday, we will be having a service of lessons and carols. And that's going to be live streamed at 9 o'clock, uh, followed by the uh, Zoom coffee hour. And then we will have drive-through communion, and which will conclude at 11.30. So you have a lot of different offerings and options to participate in the Christmas season here at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. So welcome, friends, and uh, may you be blessed in, during our worship time together. Sin and hear the promise of God's love and forgiveness 
that God gives to us using the words of our confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who is the beginning, who makes a dwelling among us, who covers us with justice and mercy. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. God of goodness and loving kindness, we confess that we have sinned against you and our neighbors. We have turned away from your invitation to new life. We have turned away from the lowly and the downtrodden. In your abundant mercy, forgive us our sins. There we may know, the, know those who know only to you. For the sake of the one who came to live among us, Jesus the Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Hear the good news of peace and salvation. God forgives all of us our sins, not through our own work, but through Jesus the Christ, made known to all people, with all who come to the manger, rejoice in this amazing gift of grace. Amen. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, 
On them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exalt when dividing plunder for the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders. The rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned for, as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us. A son has been given to us. Authority rests on his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice with, and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our psalm for this Christmas Eve service is Psalm number 96, and I will uh, read the live print, and I ask that you would respond with the words in bold. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing, Sing to, to the, the Lord, Lord, bless the name of the Lord. Proclaim God's salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations, and God's wonders among all people. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, more to be feared than all gods. Let the heavens rejoice, and the earth be glad. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But you, O Lord, have made the heavens. Majesty and magnificence are in your presence. Power and splendor are in your sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples, Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due to the holy name. Bring offerings and enter the courts of the Lord. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before the Lord all the earth. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. To the one who made the world so firm that it cannot be moved will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful, and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees in the wood shout for joy at your coming, O Lord. For you come to judge the earth. You will judge the world with righteousness, and the peoples with your truth. Our second reading is from Titus. The grace of God has appeared bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus the Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds.
The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, the thing that had been made known to them, and what was told to them about the child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary, Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. about the birth of Jesus the Christ. I love hearing about 
Mary and Joseph, the angels and the shepherds, and of course, the birth of the Christ. As many of you may know, there are four Gospels in the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but only two include the story of Jesus' birth. In Matthew, an angel appears to Joseph, and he says to Joseph that Mary is going to have a baby, and you will name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. But in the much longer Christmas story in the Gospel of St. Luke, an angel, instead of coming to Joseph, comes to Mary and tells her that she will have a baby. And after this announcement, after the birth, angels, angels appear to shepherds who are keeping watch over their flock by night. And the angels announce this glorious, wonderful news of the birth of the Christ to these lowly shepherds out in the fields very, very early in the morning. Every year, every year we get to hear that story. But why do we need to hear that story about Jesus? Why do we have to be reminded of this story of a, of a, of a little baby born in a manger? Some time ago I read an article entitled, why we, why we Still Need to Hear the Christmas Story. And the author of this article says there are four things that we need to take in mind when we hear the Christmas story, or why we need to be hearing this Christmas story every year. The first thing he says is the Christmas story is a witness that God's revelation can still happen. People had waited long for a Messiah to come. And then suddenly, suddenly God, God fulfilled God's promises. And God sent the Messiah. God sent Jesus to a people who had longed, who had longed to wait for this coming Messiah. The second thing that this author of this article writes is that Christmas is a story about God's promise. God's promise. As much as we might know about the Christmas story, that promise, sometimes it sounds different to us each and every year. Especially when we think about this difficult year of 2020 and the COVID-19 pandemic. We need to hear a, a word of promise we need to hear a word of hope. We need to hear a word of comfort. We need to hear a word of love. The third thing that the author of this article says, that in Easter we preach the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It can't be explained. In many instances it can't even be understood. Like, the, like Easter, Christmas is an invitation for us. An invitation for us to reflect and ponder and wonder about the goodness of God. And lastly, friends, the author of this article, in saying why we still need to hear the Christmas story, says that the story of Jesus still matters. Jesus still matters. The coming of the Christ still matters. The coming of the Messiah still matters. I love the Christmas season. Like probably some of you do. You might like singing Christmas carols and Seeing, seeing Christmas lights and lighting candles during worship services, opening up presents, doing all of these things remind us that the story of Jesus still matters. Friends, as you celebrate Christmas,
this year, especially after a long, difficult, trying, and troubling 2020. Jesus still matters. The story of the Christ still matters. So I ask you, friends, why do you, why do you need to hear the Christmas story this year? Why do you need to hear that wonderful story about a baby being born in the manger in Bethlehem? We need to hear the story because it's a story of God coming to us. God coming to us and God's promise to us to give us love, to give us peace, to give us comfort, to give us joy in the birth of this little baby who is Emmanuel, Jesus, God with us. Thanks be to God and Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Amen.
and all who are in need. The shepherds sing, Jesus Christ is born. Let your church throughout the world proclaim this good news over the hills and everywhere. Unite the voices of all your faithful people in songs of praise and rejoicing. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy, your mercy is great. Heaven and nature sing, joy to the world. Give respite to flocks, fields, and those who tend them. Come near to us in the beauty of nighttime, the shining of the stars, and the hush of a world at rest. May our wonder at your creations rouse our care for all the earth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. The angels sing, peace on earth. Come quickly to still the strife of this world. Hush the noise of war and violence in places of unrest. Inspire leaders of nations to seek lasting peace and sustainable provision for all in their care. Hear us, O God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is great. great. Mary sings melodies of comfort to her newborn child. Bring rest and reassurance to those facing struggles this night. Shelter travelers and those without homes. Console those who lie awake due to pain or anxiety. Heal those who are sick or hurting. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Love sings through the sound of, the, of a new baby's cry. Bless new parents and expectant parents. Come for those who long for children, especially those running out of hope or options. Surround families of every shape and size with your love and care. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy, mercy is great. We pray, O God, that you give strength and courage to those who are sick, shut in, and for all in need. We especially pray for Terry, Martha, Gail, Jennifer, Dawn, Doug, Grace, Karen, Judy, Rob, AJ, Velma, Jean, Myra, Phyllis, and Linda. We pray for Doug Alton family, Carol Volk and family, Bruce Weinroom and family, Pastor Louisa Gross and family, Kenneth Ebner III and all members of the armed forces around the world and their families public health officials and healthcare professionals caring for the sick and their families, for first responders, essential workers, and their families, workers and business owners who suffer loss of livelihood due to shutdowns, quarantines, and other restrictions, family members and loved ones quarantined in nursing and rehab facilities due to COVID-19, those who have been laid off, those who are lonely, and those who have no one to pray for them. We pray for peace in our nation and the world. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. The heavenly chorus sings, Glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for all the saints who have proclaimed your glory in word and deed. Let us join them this night in joyful praise around your eternal throne. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy, your mercy is great. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
you came, you came to, to us as one unknown, bringing joy and salvation to the earth. Nourish us at your banquet table, that with all who welcome your birth, we may proclaim your peace, revealed in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And now, friends in Christ, I invite you to hear the words of the great thanksgiving. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus, he took bread, he gave thanks, and he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, and he said to them, Take and eat it, all of you. This bread is my body, which will soon be broken for you, and whenever you eat of it, remember me. Again, after supper, our Lord Jesus, again, he took a cup, and again, after giving thanks, he gave it for all of them to drink, and he said to them, Take and drink of it, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of your sins. And whenever you drink of it, remember me. And now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 And again, remember, friends in Christ, we will be having drive through communion today from the hours of 12 noon to 12.30, and again at 5 o'clock to 5.30.
We give you thanks, gracious God, that you have once again fed us from your very self with the body and blood of Christ. Through this mystery, send us forth to proclaim your promise to a world in need. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you. 